Welcome, I'm Melanie Nielsen with Yoga with Melanie. Today we're going to take a classic yoga hip opener called Eye of the Needle and we're going to play around with it a little bit. So let's we'll do a little bit of mobility work and taking different plays off of this one position. So come to lie on your back and we'll start there. So once you get onto the back, let's first just take the feet as wide as a yoga mat and just give a little rock side to side, a handful of times in each direction. I'm just letting the legs go as far down to one side, as far down to the other side that they'll go. Let's do one more. Eventually you'll come back to center and now let's bring our feet so they're about hips width apart. Take the left foot to cross over. So I have the ankle on the thigh and then I want to get the knee to kind of move up or closer towards my chest and then away from my body. And you're just kind of fanning that leg. And remember, a lot of this work, we're calling it mobility play. We're just encouraging some movement at the joints, helping to support some synovial fluid in those joints lubrication. And now the next time the thigh is open, take your left hand onto the thigh closer to where the hip itself is, where the crease of the hip is. Give a little press. So I'm going to feel my space of that hip joint open a little, a little tug at the belly, a little kind of pressing into the back of that thigh. So you're pressing it forward. While I press it forward, I'm also going to tug upwards in the direction towards the knee and then deepen the breath again. So here we're just giving a little traction to the hip. And then softly release that, and we're gonna keep the feel of that leg being open. And now root down with the other foot and lift your hips up like you're doing a bridge pose. And I'm gonna imagine, again, the thigh is opening. And then I lower down hips and I rise hips, open the knee, lower down hips, rise hips, lower down hips, and rise. A couple more. Hips go down, hips go up, hips go down, hips go up. Now let's let, rest the hips back down and now pick the right foot off the ground like you're coming into the eye of the needle, but we're not going to do the eye of the needle. We're just taking play off of the needle. So now we're going to go side to side. So much so that maybe my knee tips down to one side and then maybe the foot touches the ground the other side. And you're just rocking. This might be challenging for some to get those points to touch the ground, so if they don't, don't worry about it. And for others, this might be quite easy and relaxing. One more to each side. Back to center, and now cinch the legs together so that there is no triangle between the legs anymore, and straighten the right leg to the sky. And then reach it to you, and see if you can reach and grab the calf muscles. And if you can't, maybe you've got a strap nearby, you can strap the foot and draw the thigh a little closer to you. And you can play with a little easing off and then drawing in again, kind of backing away, drawing in. And little pumps. And then this next time, you're going to bend that right leg and take one hand on top of one leg, the other hand on top of the other leg, and slide your hands down as close to your feet as you can get. Some people will actually get the feet, but many will be kind of holding onto their shins. And then hug the legs a little closer to each other. If you've got the feet, you could draw the feet slightly higher so that maybe you're able to peek at them from where you're resting. And again, hug the knees a little more into the heart. It's more of a position we call bicycle pose. Deep breaths in, 
full breaths out. Now let's undo that, place the feet on the floor again, let's take them as wide as the yoga mat and rock side to side like we did at the beginning, side to side. And last one. And then come back to center, walk the feet to your about hips width apart, and now take the right foot over the left knee, and then we're just gonna wave the knee. The knee comes in, knee opens up. You can image deep in the hip socket, a little motion, like a little massage or mortar and pestle in there, massaging around. As you open and close the knee. And then we're gonna leave the leg more open. I'm gonna take the right hand onto the thigh, but I'm gonna slide it all the way close to the hip crease and give a little press forward. So you feel a little kind of stretch at the belly, a little tug there. And I'm also gonna, as I'm pushing forward, I'm gonna veer upward as well. So a little tractioning of that hip socket. You can always accentuate any stretch or opening by deepening your breath. And then I'm gonna release that, cinch the legs together, take them, oh no, sorry, not that one yet. So we still have in the eye of the needle pose, we take the foot off the ground and then we'll go side to side. How could I forget this one? Foot to the floor, knee to the floor. And we'll go side to side. Don't worry if they don't touch the floor, you just go to where you can go. And last one. Back up. Now we cinch the legs and we straighten the left leg. And if possible, you find the calf. You hug it a little closer to you and then you ease off. And you just keep going forward and back. And then we're gonna bend that knee. One hand slides down. Usually it's a little easier to find one foot. And then the other hand slides down and maybe it gets just the shin, maybe it gets the ankle, maybe it gets the foot. Then hug the knees a little closer. If each hand is holding a foot, draw the feet up a little bit higher so you can peek at each foot. And expand the breath in. And slowly release the breath out. And then we're gonna undo that, place the feet on the floor again as wide as the yoga mat, and do the rock side to side. And last one to each side. Then let's roll to one side, come back up. I hope you enjoyed that little bit of play there and there's more to come so stay tuned. Please like if you like and subscribe to get more. It really does help promote what I'm doing here.